What's going on, guys? Apparently, Sneeko is beefing with Andrew Tate. Crazy. Let's check this out. I want to get straight into it. It seems like there's a lot that has to be said. Let's see what uh, Andrew Tate said first. Let's see this clip from Sneeko, and I'll reply to it. Tate tweet. Okay, what did Tate say? Tate says, I stopped talking to you years ago for a reason. Okay. As if it's like God's grace to speak. Okay, you know, you didn't even respond to what I say. You said that white supremacists are totally right. I give a fair criticism based off of Islam there. And you're like, I don't, I don't like you. You're not on the cool kids table. If you, th if you, if that's what you believe instead of Islam or instead of what I'm talking about, then okay. No, Sneeko, that's not what happened. You do not give a fair criticism based on Islam. Firstly, it is not your job in Islam to criticize anybody. That's the first thing. Second thing, you question my faith. These religious debates get crazy. And called me a Jew. So you were responded to in kind. I have no hate or disdain for any community at all, any way, shape or form. You cannot be a passive aggressive little girl. I understand you're young. But if you talk that way to people, you're going to be responded to a certain way. And you do it all the time. It's not just me. It's just who you are. You're very like smart, smarmy, snarky. That's who you are. That's fine. But you deserved it. And you got brutally wrecked because you deserved it. Because you can't call me a Jew. And also, just because you've been Saudi and I've been trapped on house arrest, you don't get to be a better Muslim than me and tell me how the world works either. That's, that's crazy. Yikes. Friend. Right? So, no hard feelings. But you fucking deserved it, right? You said it in person, I would have knocked your ass out. And I would have helped you get up afterwards and said, sorry, sir, I had to break your jaw. You, sometimes things just have to happen, you know? Oh, that's crazy. I know you think you're a tough guy because Strickland couldn't finish you. I'll finish you. Don't worry about that. That's crazy. Holy smokes. I know Sneeko's probably going to lose his mind after that. Let me see. Let's see what Sneeko has to say. He threw the whole outfit on looking like he in the TV show Oz with Ada Beezy. Prideful. Real masculinity is not flashiness and cars and look how strong and rich I am. Money does not make your masculinity. In fact, it's the opposite. Being humble, being respectful. Okay, let's stop from the beginning. That sounds, that don't sound like Sneeko as usual. Tate, what are you guys saying? Tate, what did he say? Are you, Tate, the guy that I've been defending for two years? No, no, no. The guy that I've been also risking my reputation you have been doing that, and I agree. Um, but damn, he sure likes to just pull that out the bag, right? As like an excuse for why you can't have criticism against him. To defend him for false allegations. There's no way he said anything. What did he say? Did he say something? The liberals are agreeing with you. On what? Cats? Ugh. What, what, no, no, be honest, be honest, chat. What could Andrew Tate have possibly said after I defended him while he was in prison for two years straight? For two years. That's, fam, that's so corny. Like, if that's the case, don't do nothing. If you're going to try to use you doing what's right as a way for them not to be able to give you criticism, it's not right. It's not fair. Just don't do it at all. There's no chance. There's, there's zero, there's zero chance there's that the first time Andrew tweets saying my name, it's anything negative, right? Is that, is that what you guys are insinuating? Can we get to allegations? I don't even hate neither one of y'all. He would punch you? Soapy Steve was right. Okay, let's get into this, huh? Let's get into this stuff. He said he don't with you. You don't with me. Oh, no. But surely... Surely it's not um, some childish argument like that. I don't like you. Surely. Because what could I have possibly said? He doesn't have to like you. You ain't got to like him. <laughs> to make him publicly disavow me like that or publicly disrespect. There's no way the guy that I've been, the guys who I've been defending, putting my reputation on the line while there's all these X accounts saying this is a human trafficker. You don't have much of a reputation sneak if I'm just being honest the same thing you say about him same thing they say about you yeah even recently <laughs> I can't even make a video reacting to Sneeko without someone reminding me how much he loved cuties right and I do think there's way more context to that but it's a clear example so why like throw that in Andrew Tate's face all this 
And then all the liberals are like, oh, if you're wrong, you're going to be your reputation. And I'm like, no, I met these guys, the good people. And I looked through the case and I think there's no chance. The first time Andrew Tate tweets saying my name, it's disrespectful. Is it? After yeah, all, that, get so all the way, let's get to it. I can't be. The battle of the grifters. Depending on the situation. Whoa. That's not Whatever clear. is more advantageous at the time. Whoa. I could be white in the courtroom or in jail. Whoa! I'm a hybrid. The ultimate version of human. But most are not hybrid. Most are one or the other. The white supremacists who say race is everything are totally right. It is. Ignoring race spells the end of the white man as their complex systems can easily be overloaded by brutality. So he's saying that white men are weaker than black men and black men are going to brutally and perspicaciously destroy them. White people sue. In fact, white supremacists are wrong in this sense because whites are not the supreme race. It's a, it's a very simple sense. The hell is he talking about? Stab, and white people are so high IQ that they go to court. More advanced, the more intellectual, the more capable, and black people are an animalistic monkey species who cannot even exist in the first place. This video is for educational purposes. I have no hate. This thing for any community. What the hell are you talking about? Well, that's the white supremacist belief, and that is incorrect. That's a lie. That's not true. In fact, it goes against the very fundamentals of Islam. So I tweeted, I said, white supremacists are totally right. This goes against the core fundamentals of Islam. God did not, in fact, choose any race as supreme. And if you believe so, you're Jewish. Saying, if you believe... Wrong. Just, yeah, fam. If you believe that there's a supreme race, you follow the ideology that's creating all the disruption in the world. You are following the belief system that's contributing to the genocide of Palestinians right now, free Palestine. There is no supreme race. God did not choose anybody to be better than anybody else. That's why Islam exists. Islam exists to get rid of that racial barrier. So I corrected him. If you believe that you're better than other people, you are following this ideology. In fact, that's a Talmudic ideology. You literally talk about how better you are than a plethora of people, especially OnlyFans girls. And I'm not even disagreeing with you, but come on, bro. Like, if you're going to be that harsh on those rules, you have to follow them. Ideology. That everybody else is goy, everybody else is subhuman, animalistic, thing. everybody else is worse, and that they can do things to the rest of the world that they don't do between themselves. For example, they won't practice usury between themselves, but they'll practice it with the rest of the world. They won't do gambling. They won't do, they won't share with themselves, with their own race, but they'll spread it to the rest of the world because they're the chosen people. They're the supreme race. And I even said this yesterday. I would argue the first act of racism ever was Iblis. When God told Iblis to go and prostrate to Adam, Iblis said, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm superior. I'm arrogant. It was the first act of arrogance. And God said, well, cast him away and said, if you're not going to obey me, then, then get away. And then Iblis became Satan. That was the first act of racism. And we should be very careful of that. Arrogance, there's a lot. Yo, and this, this is going to sound like I'm coming at Sneeko the whole video. I'm not sure that's right. Racist or just being superior or thinking you're superior? Brother, it wasn't because of the color of their skin. Oh. A lot of stories that we can, there's a lot of examples and metaphors we could take from that story. Uh, being arrogant is the source of all evil. How Shaitan started with an act of racism, with the feeling of superiority. That's what racism, racism really is a feeling of superiority. But let's see what he said. Oh, a discrimination based off the color of your skin. Yeah, Chad is moving today. Just feeling like you're superior doesn't mean you're racist. That sounds crazy. That was not racism, but it's a feeling of superiority. Yeah, no. That's crazy. I, tell me if I'm tripping in the comment section. And I know I'm pausing a lot, but that just sounds wild. Superiority. Which I stopped talking to you years ago for a reason. Okay. So the top G, the beacon of masculinity. Unmatched perspicacity, cussable with sheer masculinity, makes me a feared top G in any realm of Twitter. 
No way he did an ad hominem attack at a very simple argument. Let's go back one more time. This goes against you saying white supremacy is right, goes against the fundamentals of Islam. There is no supreme race. And if you believe that, you're following an incorrect ideology, which is Then the beacon of truth, the symbol of masculinity. I stopped talking to you years ago for a reason. Okay, I don't know what the reason is, but that was never specified. I saw him do a stream. What's the reason, Andrew? What is, is it because? I don't think that was feminine. I don't. I'm correcting you. Is it because you said something that was wrong? And what's the what's the reason? Then he says, Sneeko, I ratioed you, but there's no need to bot 4K likes. I just saw it. That's gay as fuck. That's gay! Dom DeMarco. In fact, I have no hate for the Alpha Deck community. Videos for educational purposes. So they're not bot. I was live watching the stream on Discord yesterday with Jake Future. But whatever. That's besides the point. And let's go. And then he did a stream afterwards, and we're, we're going to go into all of that. But I think this is really silly. I think this is an emotional argument and especially Andrew, when you position yourself as a beacon of truth, as the symbol of traditional masculinity, as the last light of the old world, when you pride yourself and boast about your intelligence, you should be able to read a very simple sentence. If you believe a false ideology, you are incorrect. That's what my sense was. He heard the word and immediately just got triggered and then started doing ad hominem attacks. Much like a woman. This is what women do. When you tell a woman the Sneeko. I really don't want this to sound like I'm just going at him no time. You do the same thing. Does that make you a woman? In fact, <laughs> wouldn't you, by misgendering him and calling him a woman, wouldn't that be an ad hominem attack? The truth, you you human trafficker. Sense, You're gay, small dick. You, I never. And your mama and your baby daddy. That's the response. Woo! Listen to what I said. What I said is factually true. And if you can't handle correction, if you can't understand, or if you can't take correction. criticism, maybe you're not the symbol of traditional masculinity that you claim to be. You go on and boast about that all the time. That's what everybody hears. I'm the last beacon of masculinity, the last symbol of truth. Somebody corrects you. Can you say that? I don't like you. Ratio, gay. That's not exactly what was said. He's just taking <laughs> highlights. The word, or whatever. Before, uh, before we watch all the, the rest of the stuff, look good. I have to point out the obvious. There's clearly been some sort of anger, some sort of jealousy, or perhaps some sort of emotional attachment to whatever, because I have been publicly defending Andrew Tate. Everybody has seen it for relentlessly for years to the point where it was a me. Um, yo, never let Sneeko do you a favor, bro. Uh, so I hate being around people like if they give you a stick of gum. You not going to stop hearing about that for like two years. Beam. Where I was taking hits on my own reputation to where people were making fun. Oh, you're glazing taco to all this stuff. When they were in jail, do you know the amount of people that I had to debate, the amount of people that I had to go against defending your case? Never heard a word of That's thanks. Me. Never heard a word of consolation. That's Sneak. I made videos defending you. Never heard. Thanks. Never got no awards. Like, this sounds so entitled. Oh, man. My bad. I think I hit the mic. It's fine. The truth is more important. I don't need to get approval. I don't care. If there's something incorrect happening to one of my brothers, I'm going to go and speak up for them. But very clear what everybody sees. You have not acknowledged any of that. You've never said a word of anything positive. The first time you speak about me is negative and trying to tear down what I've brought. To try to tear down my career. In fact, you said that you were going to end my career. That you want to end everything that I've built. That's the first acknowledgement. From the person, probably the most famous person in my generation, by far, who's the day one when you got locked up. It was I don't me. Know about that. You're innocent. You're this is incorrect. This is unjust. 
The only uh-huh. one. In fact, I think I deserve credit for helping your reputation with Gen Z. Did this nigga say he was the only one that said it was unjust? Come on, bro. Who else was really oh, saying this? Aiden? I mean, I love Aiden, and I think you, you've been disrespectful to Aiden as well, but Aiden, that a lot of people were quiet. A lot of people didn't say a word because they didn't want to risk their reputation in the case that you were actually guilty. But I was there. And then the first time you say anything is, you're gay, I stopped talking to you for a reason. People see through this. People see through this. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother my community, the audience, but people are going to see through this and it's going to damage your reputation as the beacon of truth, the beacon of masculinity. You're like, what? Wait, what about brotherhood? What about loyalty? What about truth? What did Sneeko even say to make you this upset? What did Sneeko say to trigger you to diss him publicly and then make a whole stream correcting him and threatening to uh, saying you want to fight, saying you want to end my career? Right now, the fighting... I do think that was a joke in the career. He could have been joking with that. So I don't know. Maybe he was serious. But you just say him correcting you on live stream was a problem. But you tried to correct him publicly. I think you got to throw that to the side. The last part, I don't know. To be boastful and prideful. In fact, the arrogance that everybody is seeing from this is proof that maybe people are going to start looking in different directions. If you want to keep the brand of Top G, you cannot hold on to this arrogance and pride that you so clearly have. And I'm not saying this is disrespect, but it's it's become evident to a lot of people. Because real masculinity is not being boastful. Real masculinity is not being prideful. Real masculinity is not flashiness and cars and look how strong and rich I am. Money does not make your masculinity. In fact, it's the opposite. Ain't that what sneaker... No more. Being humble, being respectful, being generous, being kind. All these attributes that you don't really speak about it, that you, you do touch on them sometimes, but that's what really makes a real man. Respect. Truth. Kindness, generosity, this stuff. Not flashy, strong, shirt off, all this. I get that it's it's provocative yeah. for the stream. And yeah, I used to like Sneeko. Not even saying I don't like him now. I mean, different, but boy, is he talking about nothing. And it brings people in. And one thing I hear you say all the time, Andrew, is that young people need an action movie star to, to look up to. I need to be the top G. I'm a symbol for the, for the young generation with this. But what they also need is somebody to, is somebody to look up to who's not arrogant, who's not prideful about this, who's willing to admit when they're wrong. And you're not. In fact, when you indirectly, I wouldn't indirectly stirred up commotion in the UK by endorsing Tommy Robinson, a paid Zionist, Pat, white. pretty much a Mossad agent, and you said Tommy Robinson's right. Basically, the same point with white supremacy I now saying that they should be able to stand up for their land. I ain't going front. That made me. Go. I didn't see that coming. You were almost directly or indirectly inciting violence on the Muslims in the UK. All the riots that, that were getting that were good craziness, a lot of them can be directly attributed to the tweets, which I didn't see you walk back, which I didn't see you apologize for. In fact, Tommy Robinson is not somebody that we should associate with at all. Look at this, 2023, 2024, just some of the tweets. We're all pre- Yo, you want a pat on his back. So you could criticize him, but he's not allowed to criticize you. Because you supported him once? Oh, however many times? That's kind of unfair. Praying for Andrew Tate's health. First day of Ramadan, two years in a row, all part of their plan. Free the Tate brothers. Free Andrew and Tristan Tate. Free Tate, free Tate, free Tate. Non-stop. First time here. Gay, stop talking to you for a reason. Fine. Fine. I'm not here to... Your approval is not the be-all, end-all of anybody's existence. That's fine. But I, I do want to say for the Muslims that are listening, the real top G is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Praying in private is showing worship to God. This is true faith. Andrew, this isn't correct. Praying in- Top G for me is Jesus Christ, but you know, different strokes. And congregation is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to interact with the rest of the world. Muslims are supposed to be praying publicly. We're supposed to be doing this. 
Praying in private is in fact not a symbol of true faith at all. And nowhere in Quran and Sunnah does it say this. Explain this one because a few people got confused, including Sneeko. And, and guys, I know everyone's giving him a hard time right now, but I'm not here to end Sneeko's career. I mean, I could. <laughs> I, I'm that guy. But so you didn't say that he was going to end your career then, Sneeko? But I'm not here to do that to the guy. What's so funny about that? That's what is kind of weird about watching your streams now is that it, it's we're not here laughing with you. It's like it's a, a giant. It's there for your to show off like I'm top G. I'm this. I'm that guy. I'm the strongest. I'm the richest. I'm this. And then <laughs> I could ruin his life. <laughs> People aren't laughing with you there. It's a it's you're alone in your room boasting about ending my career because I corrected you. <laughs> but people, I, I think that's what you don't understand is that people are not laughing with you when you do this guy, you know, he's young, he's young. He'll get it. So, you know, whatever. Sneeko has his view. The only reason I even replied to him is because he implied he knows is a bit far for somebody that prides himself on his intellectual ability and his chess playing and his unmatched uh, perspicacious ability. You should be able to see that you should understand what if means. If you believe that whites are the supreme race, you're following ideology. I'm not calling you a Jew. No one called. Did you read the sentence? If, because you said white supremacy is, is totally right. So if you believe that you're following a Jewish ideology, he's not able to make the connections there. You saw that word and then immediately, like probably pent up uh, whatever from, from several years. It, that was his, uh, the trigger. It's kind of interesting. You know, I've always noticed this about him. He's kind of passive aggressive, you know, <laughs> if I'm passive aggressive. What is this? What is this? Who like starts a fight and gets in your face and says, hit me, then hit me, hit me, hit me. And then like hits you three times, hit me. And then you hit her and she's like, oh, it's like, you, you can't just sit there and call me a and then be like, why did he reply that? Like, bro, just, you need to chill out. Anyway, I have nothing against you. Yeah, see? That's crazy. That's, Sneeko's leaving that aspect out too, right? He, he like mislabeling this man's religion, right? Giving someone criticism is something different from you just trying to like disrespect his religion. He's a man on his own journey. I'm not his enemy. I don't you know, need to implode his career. If he wants to ruin his career, he can do it himself. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin my career, Andrew. Look, if you think you can end my career, you're going to have to kill me. That's the only way that I'm going to stop ever doing what I do. Oh, it's Sean be Strickland tried to knock me out. Couldn't work. Bradley Martin got 100 pounds more. Friendly Spark tried to knock me out. Couldn't work. Been banned on YouTube. Been banned off all these platforms. I'm still here. I'm still swinging. How many people have I went up against? More people thought I oh, went up against Moist Critical and then I destroyed him in the debate. They couldn't get me. Chris Smith would be same thing. He tried to destroy my career. Couldn't get me. If you, if anybody, this message is not just, if you like feeling like, ha ha, if you think you Wait, can end my career. How did Mr. Beast try to destroy him? I thought Mr. Beast gave him a job. And you quit because you wanted to be bigger than him. Uh. You're, you're going to have to kill me. I'm never going to go anywhere. I'm never stopping. There's nothing. There's nothing on this earth and nothing that I fear other than God. You can't. Ever stop this ever unless you take my life away and then I'm martyred and then I'm happy and then I'm in the highest rank in Jana, inshallah. That's it. I'm that never stopping this. I had this disagreement with Fresh the other day. He's like, oh, well, what if they. As different as hell as Sneakers. Wow, boy. Ban you here. What if they ban you there? I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. No matter, no matter what they try to throw at me, no matter what opponent's in front of me, even if I'm in the cage next to a UFC champion that's 70, 80 pounds more than me, and he's trying to knock me out, I'm not falling. Nothing is going to be able to take me down. If that didn't take me down, I don't know what you think will. But well, you, you went against some, someone who just swings like a wild man. Did you say that against Alex Pereira? Trust me, I, I fear no it. man. I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide. I don't like that. I like that. I just like him. carrying down this asinine path of insanity. Indifferent. So nothing against him. This is not an anti-Sneeko 
stream. I know all of you are messaging me, Barry Sneeko. No, I won't. I'm a merciful man. What I am going to do is explain my tweet. Merciful people don't brag about how merciful they are. And he's clearly got people around him that, that don't want to see my career thrive. Barry Sneeko, Barry, I don't know what the reason could be. I don't know what it could possibly, why would he have people in his inner circle that want to see my career end? Especially Man, I think you're taking that so out of context. It really seems like it. With, um, you know, it's okay. I'm a merciful man. What I am going to do is explain my tweet. I'm going to explain what I meant. Then we've got some clips here. Supposedly, Sneeko's been talking about me. I don't know. I've never watched a Sneeko stream in my life. But supposedly, he's talked about me. So we're going to play them, see if there's anything of interest. Okay. And then here's where, like, the arrogance and the cockiness, it just it muddies up your credibility, Andrew. If you say, I've never seen a Sneeko stream, but then you go on to say like, oh, I haven't been a Saudi like Sneeko. Sneeko's snarky here. He said this here. He said this in his stream and he's crashing out here and he's ending and he's talking about Haitian cats. Then you've seen my streams. Okay. I know that you want, you don't, you want to put off this persona like I'm too alpha to watch a live stream. But if you watch all the clips, you're essentially watching the stream. Okay. You could drop, you could drop the facade. People understand that everybody, all the content creators are. That is not. What? Oh my gosh, no. If you watch all my clips, you did not watch the stream. In fact, you probably missing hours of content. I'd be ranting about random stuff sometimes. But anyway, I digress. So watching content, crazy. right? Just because you're in Romania in a house so and you're far, doesn't mean that you're on a different atmosphere, on a different planet compared to content creators. <laughs> Let's see what else. I guess what I'm half black and half white sapphires. I got baby mamas. I've been to jail. My black card is in check. That has nothing to do with what I've said. That has nothing to do with what I've said. I, I don't think that, you know what? Who am I to be giving out black cards or deciding who should get one or not? Whatever. I said that if white that people do crazy. not have a white only country sooner or later they're gonna end up decimated that's what i've said that doesn't mean oh, yeah i've agreed on that like many times like many times lash, again uh... for someone who prides himself at his intelligence maybe you should watch the streams before you make streams responding and thinking that you know what my opinion is i've said white people need to start having children now white people need to start having strong immigration. White people need to care about their own race. They should stop having so many white liberals. White, white people need religion back because the feminism issue is not working. I've been very, I've been talking about this for two years. For I don't get what your, your race is doing, nigga. That, that's none of my concern. I don't know what you need based off the color of your skin. It's not for me to decide. I don't care. How long? What do you think all the collabs that I've had with Nick are about? White people need to have some sort of identity again, or else they're going to be decimated. You said white supremacy are the best. You said white people are the best. Never said that. Where did I say white people? Okay, this, this is it's very silly. Very silly. That. Where did I say white people are the best people in my tweet? Andrew, you said white supremacists are totally right. Do you know what supremacist means? And here's where, where the... Um, the semantics coming. I think he's just, and this is where it's just incorrect. And why he, maybe he could have reached out. He's applying the MSM mainstream media definition of white supremacists to white separatists or to white nationalists, not people who literally think their the race is supreme because people who think the race is supreme are wrong. Okay. That's basically the white version of Zionism. I went, I went over that, but he's attributing that to like the, what the mainstream media would call a white supremacist to people that want strong white identity. That's where I feel like eyelashes in my eye. Anyway, I'm going to just deal with it. I'm going to thug it out. Thug it out. Ain't that like Nick Fuentes' opinion, though? And you said that anyway. Anyway. Identity. And that's where the, the disagreement comes in. Because we agree about this issue. I just don't think he understands that. I don't, think, I don't even think he knows what white supremacist means. I don't think he gets that. I also don't think that he understands the um, analogy of Jewish people being the supreme race. I don't think he understood that. I looked into it. I think he just saw the tweet and got really upset. Didn't say that. Says they're actually losing. So how did I say they're the best people ever? In fact, I said hybrids are the best. I can go to Brazil, say Capasso, Mio, more, some bullshit, 
I'd be Brazilian. When I go to Egypt, they talk to me in Egyptian. I could be a nigger. I could be white. I could do it all. I go to Russia. I go to Mongolia. I'm fine. I'm a hybrid. I got everything. It is kind of strange. Why, why did black people, why was that the only slur? <laughs> That's crazy. I could be white. I could be Mexican. Niggas. What the fuck? That's crazy. Um, but nah, I'm just joking. That was funny though. I ain't lying. Why did we could have just said black guy? I could I can run fast. I can do math. I can do both sides. I'm the ultimate male. I don't know what you want me to say. The only people I've said are the heroes are the hybrids. Now, my mother went through a whole bunch of hate in the 80s for dating a black man. My mother went through a whole bunch of shit for that, but it made me perfect. You're not perfect, Andrew. You're not. You're far from perfect. And so am I. I'm far from perfect. And you will never be perfect. And every day you have to strive to be better. You sneak on that aspect. I don't know if you ever be perfect, but striving to be and acknowledging that you're not. It's understandable, and I think the best thing to do. The only person that is perfect was Jesus. It's not me haram policing. That's like what we're supposed to do as men. That's real masculinity. It's understanding your flaws, being humble, and knowing that we're never going to be as perfect as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there's no point in saying this anymore. Don't. There's no point in positioning yourself as perfection, as the ideal man, because you're not. It's not an insult. That's what's true. Someone actually quite astutely pointed out to me, well, is your mother a race traitor? I said, that's actually a very interesting point. But then I guess when you understand the world, you understand women ain't loyal to shit anyway. Women are only loyal to their own feelings unless they have a patriarchal force that's forcing them to be loyal to anything, whether it's their race or their religion or their country. Women don't give a fuck about anything. So her dad didn't keep her ass in check. Never said white people. Are the best. Okay, so now he's saying hybrids are superhuman. So do you, do you actually believe... Andrew, that or maybe he's being facetious, but he's saying hybrids are superhumans so. here. Hybrids I think ninety nine percent of everything Andrew Tate say is facetious, bro. I think he'd be joking with a, a lot. Are the supreme race? It's so not in the tweet, he's saying white people are smarter, black people are more animalistic, violent, and hybrids are supreme because they can do both. All of that's wrong, Andrew. It, literally, all of those statements are incorrect. You should just drop that. Like, there's there's no point in continuing to spread that. It just riles people up. It gets people extremely angry. And I understand, I understand his point of view, but I think it's, it doesn't transcend. It doesn't get to the next level. He keeps saying that white separatists, he understands he has empathy for these people because their nations are getting decimated because they used to have strong white Christian brotherhood and all this stuff. And it's going away very quickly because of immigration, blah, 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 because of feminism, liberalism, whatever you want to blame it. So he understands that, that inclination to want to save your country. They're coming to slaughter your daughter. Stand up and fight, fight. The man in Cardiff is a Muslim. He wasn't a Muslim. He was born in Cardiff and he wasn't, he's was actually Christian. And he wasn't a foreigner. He wasn't an illegal immigrant. Fight! And so he's kind of justifying that white anger right now, which it's understandable. It's okay to be empathetic towards that. We have to understand why white, white people anger. are upset that their nations are getting decimated and that they're, they're not the majority anymore. But that anger you, you don't need to justify that anger, right? He's saying it's okay to, like, he's not specifically saying it's okay to riot, but he's like, it's okay to have that angry feeling that will lead towards rioting and lead towards doing things and fighting back and all this stuff. And I actually think it's a victim mentality. I think it's a, a lot of it is a victim mentality um, from the whites, the same way that black people have a victim. They're like, oh, we're getting decimated. We're this, we're, but the solution to this problem is not going out and rioting, looting, and, you know, just saying nigger on Twitter, you know, behind like an anonymous account. That's not the solution to this problem. That anger is being redirected in the wrong places. That anger should be redirected into having 10 children, into having multiple, into having a big family, into getting rid of no. liberalism in the household, into making, you know, having a strong household that's away from all the programming that's away from the LGBTQ agenda. That anger should be building a community, mm -hmm. building a farm, being self-sustainable. Not letting the government control you anymore because the government failed you. Not the government that you propped, that the white Christians propped up in the first place, the neocons, all this, they failed you. What the hell? What you got against white Christians, bro? 
Yeah, see, that's crazy. They sold out. You don't got And now hate. you're getting decimated, so you need to find a solution. Other religions. And the solution is not rioting. The solution is not whatever it is right now, because it's not working. The solution is starting a family, is becoming God fearing again, is returning to some sort of no, traditional uncle. values, is getting rid of usury, getting rid of. I'm team Jesus, but I'm not having a kid if I don't want to. Born, getting rid of gambling. Right? It's not holding on to this white supremacy. We was Julius Caesar. We was, my eyes are blue and I'm Aryan and Hitler. And, ah! That's not the solution. Like, it's okay to, to feel, you know, happy about your race or whatever, but that's not going to go and solve anything. All you're doing is kind of living vicariously through your ancestors instead of changing what's inevitable, which is that white people are going to be replaced if you don't have kids right now. So instead of wait, instead of going around with sticks in the street with a black ski mask and then you know burning up a mosque, have a family. I'm not gonna have a family, nigga. So let's see this clip from Sneak Up. Oh, oh, no, and I'll reply to that. Tate tweet. Okay, okay, what did Tate is, say? Tate says, "I stopped talking to you years ago." I hate when YouTube does that. You know how many times I just press the pause button? It'd be freezing sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I think Sneeko, there's a lot of things I disagreed with him on. There was a few things I did agree with him on, though. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think about the whole beef between Andrew Tate and Sneeko. It's crazy out here.